Microsoft Outlook is one of the most frequently used tools for managing email, calendar and contacts. Microsoft OneNote, even if it is not equally popular, is a great tool for managing notes. In our earlier videos we showed how you can integrate Microsoft Outlook and OneNote in order to get synergy effects of both. In this video we will focus on some slight differences between two ways of integrating Outlook and OneNote so that you are aware of them and choose the option that suits you best in each situation. The first way of integrating Outlook and OneNote is available in OneNote. At any point of adding text to your notes page, you can click the Meeting Details button available on the Home tab. This will bring a pane. By the way, this is a new feature in OneNote. Previously, this list was available as a drop-down list when clicking on the Meeting Details button. Simply click on the meeting you want to add the information of to your notes and OneNote will add details like meeting title, the date and time, the invitation message and the list of participants. It will also create space for you to take notes during the meeting. Apart from all the details, OneNote will also add a link to the meeting in your Outlook calendar, so when you click on it, you will be brought to Outlook Online to see the results. This is a great way of utilizing OneNote and Outlook together for quickly adding meeting details to your notes. However, the notes you will make will be visible in OneNote, but they will not be accessible from Outlook. In order to work around this problem, you can trigger the integration from Outlook. Simply open your meeting and click on Send to OneNote button. You will see a prompt asking whether you want to share the notes with the meeting or whether you want to take the notes on your own. If you select Take Notes on your own, OneNote will create a new page, if you only pick a section, or add meeting details to an already existing page, if you select the page. This is no different to adding meeting details from OneNote. However, if you select the Share the Notes with the Meeting option, then, apart from creating a new page and adding meeting details there, Outlook will also add a link in the text of your meeting. If you click on that link, you will be brought to the page in OneNote that holds your meeting notes. This way, you will have it easier to see what notes were taken for the meeting. Additionally, if you click on Send to OneNote before sending the meeting invitation to other participants and the notebook you choose to send to is available to them, they will be able to access the notes too. This is a great way of managing common notes for the whole team. Of course, you can also recreate the full integration between Outlook and OneNote even if you use the first way shown in this video. Simply go to the page in your OneNote that has the notes and right-click on it in the Page List pane and select Copy Link to Page. This will create a link to this page and put it in your clipboard. If you now go back to Outlook and open your meeting, you can paste the link to your notes there too. Clicking on that link will bring you to the right page in OneNote, exactly as the second way of integrating both applications works. We hope that this video has helped you become even more productive when using Microsoft Outlook and OneNote. Be sure to check our other videos to learn more about various Office applications.